Welcome to the Health Fix Podcast, where health junkies get their weekly fix of tips, tools, and techniques to have limitless energy, sharp minds, and fit physiques for life. Hey, health junkies. On this episode of the Health Fix Podcast, I'm interviewing Dr. Angela Zen again. In fact, it is part two of our two-part series on the wisdom of East Asian medicine. And the beauty of Dr. Zen is that she has learned from her family and traditions about foods and energetics with foods and herbal medicine are handed down between family members in China, Taiwan, Japan, many Asian countries. And from my acupuncture training, I learned from my professors a lot of family secrets, but I love to hear what is being passed down. And in this portion of the podcast, she's gonna talk about lotus seeds, she's gonna talk about Chinese wild yam and its benefits for perimenopause and menopause, even vaginal issues. Good stuff here. She even throws out a recipe for lowering cholesterol that you would not imagine because it's completely different than what you hear in the US for lowering cholesterol. And we even go into the benefit of black soybeans and making black soybean milk. Such cool stuff, things you're not gonna hear anywhere else. So let's reintroduce you to Dr. Angela Zen. Mummings was, um... Uh, we usually like also like to cook lotus seeds, uh-huh. lotus flower seeds, which we believe is really um, nourishing. It has this sweet nature. Again, sweet in the Chinese traditional medicine has nothing to do with sugar. Sweet usually is is a very nourishing taste group, and most of the sweet food is whole grain. Then the fruits we call it empty sweets. Empty sweets means it has the sweetness when you chew on it. So most of the whole grain, if you chew in your mouth long enough, you taste that sweetness, right? Mm-hmm. Even though, you know, you don't put any sugar in, uh, in them. Um, and they do, you know, fruits are, they do different things. Fruits are very rich in minerals, vitamins, and they have natural sugar. So it's really good for natural energy boosts uh, without like have the sugar crash later on. Mm-hmm. Um, but for whole grain, it's a different thing. So we use lotus seeds cooked with mung beans in summer. And if you want it to be sweet, you can add honey. If you just want it simple, or you can use mung fruits. Ooh, that sounds good. That sounds good. And and that's just meant as like a dessert or is it meant kind of, does, what does lotus have? I know lotus is chi, is a chi booster. Is it also a, like temperature wise, I can't remember. Is it cooling for, for summer? It is neutral. It's okay, summer neutral. neutral. Okay. Uh, so, so, so that means the neutral groups, the like the whole grain, is suitable for everyone. Mm-hmm. Um. So, and lotus is, I believe, naturally should be gluten free. So there are many whole grains are naturally uh, gluten free, like quinoa's, many legumes, like legumes, like mung bean is is beans, right? Uh, black soy beans. They are they are just not. They don't have gluten naturally. And the good thing is, well, the white color goes into our lung. You must heard that. Like we also yeah. use lily, the, the you lily. know, the lily roots. We have those bulbs and then yes. we use those, we dry them, we cook with mung beans as well. So those white color, we believe goes into lung, goes into our lung. So it's kind of cooling, soothing, but without, without like what I'm saying, like they don't have the bitter taste. So they're not going to deplete your young energy in a certain way. So they're very nourishing. And well, I also have a, like a classic remedy. It's like a food, tasty food. We use the Chinese yam. It's like a traditional roots. Like I used to make my sesame snack energy bar. Uh, that if you eat it regularly, for lots of women, it actually can really help. For example, if you constantly have vaginal yeast infection, it will really help to clear that out. You like to say, why? I think it regulates your... Uh, uh, microbiome in certain way, because it contains these compounds. It contains this natural fiber, indigestible fiber that our human cell cannot use, but it calculates certain type of good bacteria in your system. And the other thing is those um, slimy stuff, like for example, chia seed, mm-hmm. uh, flaxseed seeds in certain way, the slimy stuff. 
And we also, certain kind of fungus, like we have those white ear fungus, black mm. <laughs> Yes. We do some good mushrooms, right? Uh, the slimy stuff, it has this black, it's, a, it's a, like a very large sugar, natural sugar complex. And that actually trick our immune system to think, oh, this is a boring object. We need to work a little bit harder, but it's not like a boring, it's not like a vaccine. In certain ways, like a mild vaccine, so I, I don't know how to do the, work, the way it's played, but it boosts your immune system without making it like go crazy. Like sometimes when people get a vaccine shot, especially with the COVID shot, your immune system starts to flare up like crazy, right? Yeah. That's why some people unfortunately get into heart problems and you know, you hear those story. It's from that. It's just over reacting. Overstimulating. Yeah. Yeah, overstimulating. Yeah. So this natural compound, it just gives your immune system a little bit kick. It's like, hey, don't be lazy. <laughs> <laughs> you need to wake up. I like that. And uh, so it, it actually helps to it is. If you if you eat that, the this special roots is a white color again. And you can cook it. The thing is, uh those effective compounds is fat soluble. So if you're not vegan, you can cook it with like some lean meat. Actually, my uncle, the, my uncle who is an acupuncture uh, uh, scientist, <laughs> he's like, I have this special remedy. I was like, what are your special? He said, I, I actually did tests at lower cholesterol level, like magic. It's this black fungus, the, the, uh, the, we call it the moor, the uh, wood ear. <laughs> The black, the black wood ear, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cooked okay. with lean pork. If hmm. you drink this, consume this regularly, it really lower your lipids level, cholesterol. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> wow, wow. It and also this... treats. He said also treats coughing. So so, and we have a special uh, black wood ear. Is uh, black on one side and white on the other side. And it's a little bit bigger than your regular black ear. I mean, black wood ear. Yeah. <laughs> and and that, that has lots of good medicinal use. So, but if you drink this, the white roots thing, cook the with, you can also do healthy fats. Uh, maybe I'll say olive oil, whatever you enjoy. Uh, a little bit fatty kind of seeds, nuts. And if you consume that regularly, it will clear out your vaginal infection. That's... <laughs> That's fascinating. And, I mean, and it, 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 it boosts your immune system naturally and, and then kind of also regulate your hormone cycle as well. Yeah. Wow. That's huge because so many women have like bacterial vaginosis that just keeps coming back and coming back and coming back. Do you it's have- the sign of their immune system is kind of in certain way compromised. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a juice that that kind of is incorporated into that yet? Or, or is that <laughs> is that in the works? No, because I cannot, the FDA has regulation in terms of what you can use in yeah. food and beverages. In supplements, it's different. They don't necessarily regular supplements. Like, they don't regulate supplements the same way as, as straight, restrict as they do with food. And um, I was... I might, if if I, I I can do that, my resource allows me. I was thinking of doing some remedy shots, so not yeah. in the food drink category, but in the supplement category. That I was thinking really focus on women's health because when I was in pharmaceutical and medical, I feel like lots of common women condition, the condition happening among us, are just ignored. You know, I mean, it's just part of the. Even like vaginal infection, that's when I was in pharmaceutical, that's that's one big category for the company. But it's all antibiotics, yeah. nothing else. Antibiotics sometimes with stereo, with hormone, that's it. I mean, you can see PMS, menopause, all those issues is hormone therapy. So, but this is actually the area, and one of my aunts, she's the expert in terms of studying the herbal remedies with a modern kind of research approach. But women's health is the biggest, I guess, focus focus area in the traditional Chinese medicine because recognizing our body are very complex. Yeah. You know, like we talk about today's you is different than uh, yesterday's you will be different than tomorrow's you. So the good thing is, <laughs> don't feel bad if you're not feeling well right now because tomorrow <laughs> you will feel <Yeah>. different <laughs> if you do the right thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because we we have that 
hormone cycle, which is very complex. And then uh, I'm sure women don't believe that, right? We also sync with each other better than men. <laughs> yep. Yeah. But if you live in the same dorm, you you period start to stick with your oh, yeah. Oh like, yeah. Why is that? <laughs> and we we need to have this better sense. We think with uh, I think it's a natural survival, right? We we can understand our baby what they want before they could talk, express yeah. their feeling to us, and we have this sixth sense. I think most moms have. Yeah. 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 I would agree. I would agree. So I guess what I'm going to ask now, because, you know, we talked about the vaginal infections, of course, the biggest one that I struggle with and, and oftentimes it's working on the hot and cold energy is, is dealing with the hot flashes and the night sweats. Yeah. Yeah. What, what has been some things that maybe have helped you or helped family members or what has your, your relative that is the expert as are there any remedies that you, you use that we can share today with folks? Actually, I I'm I'm gonna turn fifty one soon next next week. Uh, so I don't, I'm in menopause. Uh, already, I kind of started in the late forty six, forty nine, and then it for me it's really quick. Just and I didn't feel any. I mean, knock on wood, I didn't experience any hot flash because because I'm eating, I'm drinking my smoothie every, you know, the whole grain kind of the with the seeds, all those things. I do think those vital estrogens. And those are based on clinical study. Yeah. If you eat foods very rich in phytoestrogens, it really helps to eliminate or lower down your hot flash. And the other one is, I heard this, and I think there's some clinical study to back it up. So make make women who has curvy body feels a little bit better because you know the most of the hormones are fat soluble, right? I think if not all of them. So, so, uh, doing our younger age, uh, our body produce, you know, regularly produce this, uh, sex hormone, and then, uh, you know, your fat tissue would store some of that. So when our kind of, uh, sex organs start, you know, the function start to decline for women who a little bit, you know, curvier than people who, are, I think you're lean, I'm lean too, um, mm-hmm. They actually, their fat tissue start to release those hormones. Actually, I was told for those women, if if they're also eating clean, eating, uh, I'm not saying you have to eat yeah. McDonald's, <laughs> yeah. drinking yeah. smoothie king stuff every day, that's going to make you feel miserable. But uh, they actually have better menopause experience than than you know people who are really thin. Yeah. Um, so one thing to, you know, don't feel bad if you feel like I need to lose a few more pounds. There's some advantage when you have <laughs> some fat tissue around you uh, because you you do have some reserve there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's sage advice. But- Hey, health junkies, if your feet aren't happy and healthy, the rest of you could suffer from low back pain all the way up to neck pain. And yes, even gut issues can be related to your feet because your feet are connected to your nervous system. Happy feet equal one less thing the nervous system has to worry about. I want to tell you about Paluva. This is a new zero drop minimalist shoe with the distinctive five toe design. Paluvas give you the most authentic barefoot style experience, but with sufficient cushioning to use in everyday movement, fitness, and athletic activities. Paluvas are super stylish, so you also get a barefoot shoe that looks good too. Paluvas are a step ahead of every other zero drop wide box shoe because they feature separate slots for each of your five toes. So if you've been using toe separators, you can ditch them and just wear the Paluvas. Those individual slots for each toe allow for correct dynamic movement of the foot through the walking or running stride, which is important when toes are encased in a single box, even a wide box. Now, Minimalist shoes have faced controversy in recent years about causing injuries from inappropriate use. So you want to get walking in Paluvas, living in Paluvas, and doing whatever you can while you're going barefoot in your home and safe areas as much as possible. So go ahead and use your specialized running shoes, basketball shoes, work boots, high heels when you need to, but wear Paluvas as much as possible to reawaken the natural functionality of the human foot to stand, walk, run, and perform. 
Try a pair of Paluvas with no risk and you'll quickly realize that these are the most comfortable shoes you've ever worn. They're designed to feel like you're walking barefoot on clouds. So visit Paluva, P-E-L-U-V-A dot com and take 15% off with the code HEALTHFIX. Let's get back to the podcast. Try black soybean. If you want, I can send you some dry black soybean. You can home make black soy milk out of it. Okay, and you well. can drink it. Just don't don't buy those store versions of soy milk. Because if you look at the research paper, like the food scientists publish, the food chemistry, you'll be scared. I'm not going to drink this anymore. But you know what they do? So many steps, so many chemical use, and what kind of stuff they use to try to make it. Of course, it tastes like a cow milk. milk. <laughs> yeah. So, but, but home make those soy milk, Use organics. I mean, the good thing about black soybean, there's no GMO black soybean because <laughs> the, yeah, the large can. company has no interest <laughs> to do <Yeah>. that. <laughs> that means like black soybean. What is that? Nah, yeah. <laughs> no interest. Don't waste our research money on that. <laughs> so it's untouched. So it's very clean. Yeah, okay. use that, and you should. And there are lots of herbs too. But one thing you know that acupuncture helps. Mm -hmm. acupuncture helps and the other thing is you really have to treat individual person as individual person so that part if you have severe hot flash some people actually need we were talking about the spicy the hot nature thing to make their chi energy flowing again that will help and some people they need the cooling herbs the bitter cooling herbs to cool down their body they could have exactly the same symptom. They could all have hot flash, but if you feel their pulse, it's very different. Yeah. The best yep. thing, but I would say those uh, black soybean, those phytoestrogen should really help. Good, good. You just like, have to be consistent. And and this is the key. And this is where I like herbal like elixirs and, and beverage companies like yours, because a lot of people I find over the years, Nobody, you know, I can give people the the herbal, like the actual herbs to try to boil up a soup and not going to happen very often. And the the mixes that are the herbs and like the granules, mm -hmm. not, you know, once in a while someone might take mm -hmm. it, but then they're like, you know, plugging their nose and trying to get it down. But something that's palatable, let's face it, we're all kind of kids at heart. So gummy, I, I found gummies and, and elixirs work to to get things in. So I think it's. It's just something that's that's human nature. Yeah, yeah. I mean, absolutely. When I was little, I remember the days my parents did that to me. <laughs> the yeah. herbal rep. Oh, I'm like, ah, it's too bitter. I can't take it. Yeah. But it's good for you. I don't care if it's good for me or not. <laughs> it's not tasty. It's not tasty. And and that's really the big thing I want folks to understand, because when I tell folks like, oh, it's an herbal drink, it, it's based on Chinese medicine, you know, in East Asian me medicine, a lot of people are like, is it going to taste like that stuff that you gave me that one time? <laughs> <laughs> no, I swear. I swear it's not. <laughs> um, but no, I'm I'm excited to to try out some of your products and, and let folks know about them because it's it's good stuff. And I like that you understand the balance, because like we mentioned before, there's a lot of products out there that have stacked heavily on super warm or super cold side. And oh not... my gosh, it's so, that's that's the approach, which I, I mean, I, I understand because they you have to spend years, you know, how complex, not to mention to become acupuncture star, but you have to through years of learning practice. I would never try uh, someone who have never studied acupuncture and try to poke me with needles. I mean, that, that can really <laughs> cause some severe damage, right? It was same thing with herbs. We, we know many years, I mean, our ancestor knows at medicinal, the, the true herbs, they can really, I mean, if you don't know how to use them well, they can do damage. I can give you a personal experiment. I mean, a, a, a story. My husband's like, don't share that with you scare people. So I started to play with herbal stuff since I was five. No, no joking. So when I was a teenage girl, I was already adventure enough. I was mixing my own stuff, experimenting on myself. So one summer, I think I was about maybe 15. So before I go to bed, I was just like, <sighs> You know, I feel too much heat. I'm just like stressed out from my study and it's summer, hot summer. 
my final is coming, and I overdosed myself. And that particular with that particular ingredient. I woke up in the middle of the night, my pulse was so slow. I start to lose all the feeling on my fingers. You know, I know I'm going to go basically something bad is going to happen. So I woke up my parents to took me to back then the ER, you know, they call it a differently. And my mom still remind me, don't do that again. You know, <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. What did they revive you with? What did they have to give you to revive you? I think it was actually a really simple thing. It was some ivy fruits with glucose and with something else I cannot remember. Wow. They wow. just put lots of natural fruits in, into my system. And maybe because I was young, I kind of just, <laughs> because they probably couldn't understand what I did <laughs> to myself. Well, and, and it's interesting that you mentioned they did just IV fluids because I think for a lot of people, when there's an herbal overdose of one direction or the other, sometimes it's just, it depletes you. And it's much yeah. like you get yeah. dehydrated and, yeah. and you get the symptoms of headache, you know, yeah. slow pulse, just lethargic, yeah. or you go the other direction. Yeah. Um, so no, that's, that's a, that's a good story. I think, I think it's wise for people to hear because I think a lot of times, even now when people are self-experimenting with different herbs and trying different things on their own, this is, this is possible. And then they think it's the herb causing the issue. Well, yes, but inappropriate use is what. Yeah, no, no, no. Be careful. Every medicine has side effects. Mm -hmm. They are herbs, they are natural. It doesn't mean they have no side effect. That's why the FDA has such a restrict regulation. What can be put in food? Because we have those like mung beans, those black soybeans, they've been used for thousands, beyond thousands of years. We know they not going to do you, unless you really overeat them, then you just, if you overeat any food, it's not good. So, right, I mean, but we know, you know, for most people, they're not going to cause harm, you know, unless they have really super weak digestion system. That's why we cook it really well. You know, one thing about traditional Chinese medicine, Believe is we like to cook everything. You already know. <laughs> we cook yes. everything. People are saying, why you not eat raw? Well, for most, because also the culture is heavily plant-based. For yeah. most plant-based food, you need to cook them. I mean, meat, you also, of course, you need to cook them. Otherwise, it's too much burden for your digestive system. And the traditional Far East medicine is all about preserve your qi, your digestive qi, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is less burden on your digestive system is better. So it's like, if it is already cooked well, your body can readily utilize it and then it just preserves your digestive cheese so it's better for your longevity. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, such good stuff, Angela. We have been through a whole bunch of different things. I hope folks like are taking this all in. Don't worry, guys. I'll have notes at drjkrausnd.com. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, thank but you. I need to send you the unwind, send you the hydration drink. I sent you some... Uh, uh, black bean so you can play with them i have yeah. lots of them <laughs> yeah no I'd, i would love to i'd love to and definitely share with folks like my my experience so let's tell folks your website let's tell them how to find you on instagram because guys she's got some cool stuff on instagram and that way they can connect with you oh yeah my website is kariva.com so it's k-a-r v-i-v-a viva is the italian word means Happiness, longevity, K A R, it stars. I mean, it shares your last name. Yep. <laughs> K A R. So your your listener won't miss that. It's actually from Karuna. Karuna is an ancient Indian word, means compassion. So it's still a very popular first name for ladies, for Indian uh, ladies. So compassion, we all need it. Uh, Carviva.com, you can find it. It depends on where you live. We are mainly. Midwest, uh, East Coast, and Texas in store, but we are online. Our own website. We're gonna have special the I call it the six day the right way to cleanse your body because it's not about cleansing; it's about remove the toxin and also nourishing at the same time. You know, you have you have to do that. Don't just do go to the bathroom six times a day. <laughs> your energy level will be totally depleted. Please don't do that to yourself. Um, and we ha we'll have a package. So we, we package the CLAC, uh cleansing drinks with the hydration drinks for you to, you know, replenish your energy at the same time. 
cleans out the toxins in your body. Um, so watch that. Sign up our newsletter. I come up with blog article, each blog article myself. And usually I do a good mix of traditional Chinese medicine with modern nutritional science. I do both. I also sometimes do a little bit like mindfulness. I guess that's, that's a big part about traditional Chinese medicine. It's almost like counseling. Yeah. We we believe emotion most times is the cause of disease. Again, I can, I can spend another hour to talk about blockage, why hypertension, how we treat hypertension, very different um, approach compared to uh, modern medicine. We believe there's a blockage and an emotion blockage can cause many, many disease too. Mm. Yes, all of the emotions that go with the organs are so important. I think we should talk about that sometime. Let's do that, folks. Stay yeah. tuned. Stay and tuned. then different organ, you know that like, you know, kidney is in charge of fear, right? Mm -hmm. Liver is yeah. anger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's why, you know, PMS many times is that liver cheese stagnation makes us, it is true. I, I sometimes, I remember there were a few years I was totally stressed out. And I feel like my PMS was more severe on this anger issue i wake up in the morning especially a few days before my period i feel like I, i'm just angry today i don't know why if i can't stop something wrong i'll be like oh i can't tolerate this <laughs> <laughs> but it's yeah and i start that's still it's like i mean every morning i need to drink my stuff and it is true i see i see it's that liver thing and then and mm -hmm. there it's just um and then you can feel it you actually there are simple things you can feel your bowels you know what your body your left pulse will do different things than your right pulse. And with some, just a little bit training, you don't have to do self-diagnosis. You will tell, oh, actually my period is coming and I need a little kick for it to come. You know, it may be just, yep. the circulation is not moving. <laughs> no, it's it's definitely, the art of learning your pulses is is definitely important too. I think for, for all of us to kind of get a little tip on, on how to do that. So Angela, I'm going to bring you back so we can talk about um, organs, emotions, and pulses. How about that? <laughs> yeah, sure. Deal. Let's do that. Well, yeah. I appreciate you coming on today and sharing all about your story and all about Carviva. And I look forward to trying out some products and we'll do round two and we'll talk about organs and pulses. Yeah, let's uh, set it up. I enjoy you, uh, <laughs> your podcast. Good well, stuff. Thank you. Hey, Health Junkies. Thank you so much for listening to another episode of the Health Fix podcast. To help support my mission to bring you tips, tricks, and tools to help you optimize your health, I'd be grateful if you'd like, subscribe, and write me a review for the podcast. And if you hear a product you're interested in on the podcast, you can now go over to my website to learn more. That's doctor spelled out J K R A U S E nd.com. Just click on shop and you'll find all the information on my favorite products that I stand behind and use myself. All affiliate income earned with your purchases goes directly to help support the production of the podcast so I can keep bringing you quality health information. I appreciate your support and I'm honored to have you listening to my podcast as a fellow health junkie. Thanks again.